Hey guys, here we have a 2023 Coachman Clipper. This is a 17 MBS. Uh, up front, you have your tongue jack, uh, so you can crank it up and down. Um, and then you have your chains. Uh, and then you have your seven way uh, right here. Where is it? Right there. Uh, for your lights and brakes. And then you have your breakaway cable, which is connected to a pin in this box. Um, so if for some reason uh, this came disconnected, that pin would pull out. Uh, it's basically like an emergency brake, so it'll lock up the brakes on the trailer. Then you have your propane tank here, your valve to turn it on and off. Then your battery is right there. All right, uh, so you, this one has a slide on it. And then you have your storage up front right here. And just a little door hold back right there. Uh, so this is a pass-through storage. Uh, so there's a door on the other side. Uh, your power cord's right here. Uh, right there, you have your one stabilizer jack. There's four in total, one on each corner. Uh, these are only made for stabilizing, so uh, you'll level the unit first, uh, back up onto some blocks if you have to, and then use the front tongue jack to level it front to back. And then you'll just crank these down. Uh, and then once, uh, if you have blocks under them, or if they're touching the ground, once they're down, uh, give it half to three quarters of a turn just to put a little pressure on it. You don't want to try and level the unit with these because uh, it will bend them. Uh, next to the storage compartment, you have your water hookups. Uh, so this one down here, uh, that cap just comes off and then you hook your hose up here. And this is your city water connection. Uh, so when you're at the campground, that's where you hook up your water and then you'll have water directly to all your faucets then this has a portable water tank so if you're going to a state park or dry camping um, you have water on board with you and this is just gravity fed so you stick your hose in there before you leave and then you'll have water on board with you and the drain for that tank is right there and there's just a little cap that'll screw onto this uh, to plug it. That way you can fill it up. All right. In the rear here, uh, you have, uh, this is where your power cord will plug into. And this is a 30 amp uh, unit. So when you go to campgrounds and stuff, ask for the 30 amp hookups. If you're at home, you can get an adapter to plug into your household outlet um, to keep your battery charged and cool your fridge. The only thing that you can't run when you're doing that is your air conditioner because that requires uh, the full 30 amp hookup. Then you have your cable plug right there so you can watch TV inside. Then you have your water heater just right here. And this is a gas only uh, water heater. Uh, so the burner is right here and this is electric ignition. Uh, so all you have to do is inside flip the switch on and it'll light right up for you. Uh, this right here, this is the cap for the fresh water drain. Right down here, this is your sewer uh, outlet. Uh, so you have your black tank right here, which that's going to be your toilet water. And then on the left with the gray handle, that's your gray tank, uh, which will be your sink and shower water. Uh, when you're dumping your tanks, um, I recommend dumping the black tank first. Once that's empty, close it and then open the gray tank and it'll flush uh, your sewer hose out for you. Um, and if you're parked for you know a week or whatever camping um you don't have to do it that way if you know your black tank fills up you can dump it and then close it back up um or if your gray tank's full but your black tank isn't uh, you can dump that one 
um, but usually if it's your last dump um, for that trip or at that spot I would do the black tank first and then the gray tank that way it doesn't leave a mess in the sewer hose for you um, then you have your bumper right here which you can take these caps off and store the sewer hose in there that way you don't have to bring it inside the unit and make a mess in there all right, so you got your spare tire back here, and then this is prepped for a backup camera. Uh, so right now from the factory, they put a little dummy on it. If you want a backup camera, all you have to do is unscrew that, plug in the camera, and then screw that on to there. Uh, you got a outside shower right here, it's just hot and cold water. All right, now on the door side, uh, you got a Nice little awning uh, right here. You got a spot to uh, leash your dog to. Uh, that way it stays right here and it's under the awning so they have some shade, uh, which is nice. Uh, this panel right here, this is just the back of the refrigerator. Um, it's where it plugs in and where the burn box is for it. Um, you'll never have to go back here. It's just where it vents and uh, where techs have service access to it uh, below that you have the exhaust for your furnace just make sure nothing's leaned up against it don't lean your chairs or anything up on it um, if you're using it and then definitely don't touch it because uh, this does get pretty hot um, so if you're using it don't lean anything up against it and don't touch it you got some outlets right here and then up here you have the vent for uh, the stove top fan. Uh, and so there's just a little flap in here that snaps open and close. Uh, that way it actually vents outside. And then when you're traveling or not using it, you wanna make sure that snap close. That way no water or debris or bugs get up inside there. And then you just have the other side of the storage compartment uh, and you got the crank for the, the stabilizer jacks uh, and this unit is prepped for solar charging uh, so you can buy a portable solar panel and it'll plug right in right there all right uh, you have your grab handle right here so you just pull up on it then you can turn it and that's open and then uh, for traveling you want to make sure it's closed like that uh, so your steps right here you just lift up on it pull it out and then this folds down and you got your door right here uh, if you put your thumb right here and then pull on it it usually works pretty good but if you just go and pull on it it doesn't really work that well so just put your thumb right there or use your other hand to hold the door while you pull the handle. All right. Take a little peek around. All right, so you got your dinette seating here. Uh, it's also your Murphy bed right there. So you'll fold the table down, put the cushions over it, uh, and then you'll unlatch the bed and fold it down and then it's all set you got a little cubby area right there for some storage um and you got tv hookups right here and you can mount a tv right there uh, and then you got your little couch uh jackknife sofa so if you needed an extra sleeping space you could fold that down and make into a little bed um, so that's in your slide uh, to the left, when you walk in, you have your control panel right here. It uh, has all your light switches, um, your switch for your water heater to turn that on, and then your water pump switch, and the ceiling lights, and you have lights under the awning. Uh, this is the switch to extend and retract the awning. Um, the awnings don't stop on their own when they're out all the way uh, so you have to watch it while rolling it out 
there'll be a valance that'll fold down once you see that just let off the switch um and then if it's really windy or if it starts downpouring pretty hard you want to roll your awning in that way uh, you don't take a chance of having any damage caused to it then you have your slide switch right here uh, in and out uh, you just press and hold it All right, and that gives you quite a bit more room. Uh, you got a nice fireplace right there. Uh, then you have your kitchen area right here with your fridge, uh, sink, cooktop. Uh, right here you have your main GFI outlet. Uh, so most of the outlets in the RV are GFI protected. So if the um, circuit trips, this is where you reset it. Then you just have your thermostat for the furnace and you just push this lever on to what you want the temperature set to and then it'll turn on for you. On the air conditioner, the switches are up here for it. Uh, so you got, uh, you can have just the fan on in the air conditioner if you want to circulate some air. Uh, and then you got the cool, which will actually turn on the compressor in it to start cooling. Uh, and then you got the temperature control right here. Uh, so you got a two burner cooktop there. Um, and this you do have to use a grill lighter to light. You got your sink and this cover comes right up. You got some storage underneath. Uh, a little light right here. And then you got the stove top light and fan. Uh, microwave. Then your fridge. Uh, pretty simple. You got your power button there. And then your mode button. Uh, so the power right there. That plug is looking for when you're plugged in. And then if you... Hit the mode button, it'll go to that little flame icon and it'll light on gas. Uh, and then you have auto, uh, which will look for electricity first. If you lose power overnight, it'll automatically switch to gas. And then you have your temperature set right there. So one will be not so cold and then um, nine is the coldest. And then you got turned it off. Uh, so you push down on this latch right here and you can open the fridge and then the freezer. Uh, down below the fridge, you have your furnace right there and that's where it blows the heat out from. And next to that is your converter and it just has all your 12 volt fuses and your 110 breakers. Um, your fireplace has all the switches right there and um, there is a remote for it as well and then right here this little switch um, is like a separate breaker uh, because this has a fireplace and air conditioner uh, they both run off this switch here uh, so whatever way you flip it uh, it'll either allow power to the fireplace or to the air conditioner then you got some storage up here. Uh, nice shelving in the slide. And then back here you have a little bit of space. Uh, and you can also store the table back here for traveling. Uh, now go into the bathroom. A uh, decent sized bathroom for uh, this unit. Uh, so your toilet. You got a foot flush right there. Uh, so you press that down, it'll flush the toilet for you. And then you got a nice size shower in here. It's got a skylight to let in some natural light. Uh, give you a little more headroom as well. And then you got your sink with lots of counter space. Uh, a little shelf right there. And some storage underneath. And then you have the light switch. 
and you got a little medicine cabinet area up here uh, and put some towels and stuff or whatnot and then you got a vent with a fan in it uh, so this you'll crank open the lid with and then your switch to turn the fan on and off is right there all right uh, so that is everything to do with the 2023 Coachman Clipper uh, 17 MBS. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for shopping at Michelson RV.